So I'm standing next to my 2022 Tesla Model 3, and one of my favorite upgrades that I have done to date is this. Now there's, there's a lot of reasons I love this upgrade, and maybe it's not exactly what you're thinking. So let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to TechGooch. And today I'm talking about, well this is my full review of the Handshow Powered Front Kit. Now this front kit is designed for my Model 3, or it'll also work with the Model Y I believe as well. So it's, you know, essentially the same front end. Um, it basically replaces the gas shocks that you have with actual powered actuators. And then you do have some, uh, took some work down here at the latch because it actually has to do that suction down. Um, a lot of really great reasons that I love this upgrade so much. One is it doesn't have an additional app or anything that you need. It actually uses the same Tesla app that you've been using. The actual pop, basically how you would use to pop the power, the, the trunk before, now is that power lift. And the same thing is if you're going to go to close it, you just hit the button like you're going to open it again and hit open and then it'll actually close on you. Now, you can actually kind of tell that Tesla built this to, to accommodate this powered actuator kit because inside the actual front itself, there is actually a button down here on the newer models that you can push. And if I push this, it also closes the front. So it acts as your close button. So you don't have to get the app back out if you're actually standing right next to it. The same way you would open the, or pop the front from the actual touch panel, also opens and closes the front completely so you don't have to have your app out you don't have to do anything it pops just like you always used to pop it the other really really nice thing about this is that i don't have to use my hands to close the tr the, the front because in the past you would kind of get it down to a point and then you'd have to kind of put pressure to slam it down and every time i did that for the uh, week or so that i had this before i installed this kit um, you always felt like maybe you were going to dent the hood and that really I didn't like that feeling and so this was the first kit that I really wanted to do I wanted to install on this um, I worked with Handshow to get this on here my vehicle also has the lithium battery in it because it is the newer 2022 model with the lithium upgrade so the 12 volt lithium battery has a little power takeoff on it and it works the kit as is works just fine you kind of have to bolt the lithium to that stub. Um, but yeah, out of all the upgrades that I've done to date, which there's been a few that I've done, and several accessories that I've added to my, my vehicle as well, this is probably my favorite because it's one that I use, and I use frequently actually. Um, we tend to put things in the front that you may not want to put in the vehicle. For instance, um, when we have leftovers from eating out, we put those up here because we don't want the odors in the vehicle. It actually helps. Because yeah, if you put even you put it in your trunk, you're you're really putting it in your vehicle. You put it in the trunk, it doesn't. We also had a trip where we had up to Minneapolis um, from Iowa here, and on our way back, we had a lot of uh, food items um, from the refrigerator where we were staying. And I actually loaded this all with cold goods. Now it was cool outside. It was in the 40s, so we weren't too worried. We drove all the way back home after. E I mean, it was in the front probably for a good 12 hours. Um, I didn't put cool packs in there, but everything in there was cold. And it held temperature fairly good, actually. Nothing went bad or anything like that. So there's a lot of really good uses, and I'm actually looking forward to seeing about other products that could actually go in here as well. Now, I, if, in this video, I actually have a mat in here um, that kind of came with my floor mats that I also really like as well. But honestly, my favorite upgrade I've done is the power trunk. So I do want to prove as well. So I'm in the vehicle. Obviously nobody's in the, it's, it's, it's unlocked, but there's nobody in the driver's seat. We don't have it in drive. If I hit the power fork to open, it does power open. And then same, if you, you know, it shows open. If I hit that open button again, that's where it actually goes down and closes. And somebody's got an alarm going off. Okay, I did want to prove that now I'm in the driver's seat. Um, I can open the front from in here just by opening the front like normal, and it'll actually power lift open rather than just pop open, right? 
And like I said before, if I want to close it, all I do, and you can see it's actually animated op open right now. I hit open again, and it'll actually close the frunk. And then once it, that uh, suction down and actually latches, you can see it closes on the animation so you know it's closed. Now, if I actually were to put this in drive, people have asked me this. I'm in drive right now. I can't open it, right? It's just not possible because it's on the screen because it doesn't give you that, uh, that as an option. If I go in the app and I hit open, it's not going to open. It doesn't allow the frunk to be opened when you're not in park. So people ask, oh, that's a safety thing. It could pop open in the middle of your driving. It can't. The vehicle won't allow it. It's just the same as if it was to pop open. It's the exact same principles because it's using the same system to lock. But as soon as I put it in park, now I can pop it open. Right? So for safety wise, you can't, it's not adding any additional unsafe features because even if I didn't have this power front kit and I was to pop it open technically going down the highway the wind is going to rip the hood off alone because your hands would do it as well so uh, that's how you operate it from inside the vehicle so like I said this is my favorite upgrade that I've done to date and if you were to add this to your own Tesla uh, this kit runs about 430 bucks currently. Um, I do have a code, uh, I believe it's 15 TechGooch that you can actually get 15% off. I'll put that down in the description. If that code changes, just check, check the description. Um, I'll update that as I can. But Hancho did give me that, uh, that code to hand out and I appreciate that very, very much to show you guys because this was the one, ex the one item that I actually reached out to them about because I, was, I really thought this would be a great add-on. And then, of course, after that first week of ownership, I was really happy. Like, that was the one thing I didn't like doing was closing the front because you can't drop it like a normal hood because it has the gas shocks and it just it doesn't have that. It's all aluminum, so you, you feel the flex of the hood. Now, I didn't like that feeling. And now I don't have to worry about that. So, and the other nice thing is as we're coming out of the store and I see the, the Tesla, I can hit the front button it opens up by the time I mean I got to the, the to the vehicle it's already open ready to go so now I have a powered trunk because that's who came with my vehicle and I added the power front so thank you to Hanshow for allowing me to do this video so far um, I've had this installed now for over a month month and a half over almost two months actually I think we're coming up on two months I don't have any issues with it the vehicle never gave me any issues at all. I, at the, if you actually watch my install video on GeekSmart, I'll put that link down as well. Um, I had a little bit of hiccup when I when I installed it. There was a firmware issue that I had to upgrade. Quick and easy fix and then off she went. But great product, highly recommended. So if you have a Model 3 or a Model Y, check it out. Thanks for watching the video. Like, comment, subscribe. If you have any more other questions, head to techstuff.com. We'll see you soon.